After an entire year of development and blue balling, the dusk is finally here. Go to chronicle.com slash dusk to buy dusk or go to the links in the description down below to buy dusk from Amazon or AliExpress. And for those of you who are out of the loop, The Dusk is the sequel to the legendary Blessing 2 Dusk and retails for 359 US dollars. And of course, before I go any further, I have to talk about disclaimers. Do, do I really have to? Look, here's the thing. All of you are like smart people. My name is on the box. I get a cut of the profit. I'm not going to review. I'm not going to rank it. So let's just skip over that. I assume all of you are adults, right? This is The Blessing to Dusk. It was released at the end of 2020 and arguably the one that started it all. The Blessing to Dusk was my first and up to now my only collaboration with Moondrop and served as a retuning of the very, very popular Blessing 2. And make no mistake, at this point, The Blessing 2 Dusk has essentially attained legendary status. It had basically solidified itself as one of the premier choices in the $300 price bracket, and quite frankly, we could not make enough. We were always on the mad scramble to get enough units out to as many people as possible, and that went on for a good two and a half years. And if you know anything about the IM industry, two and a half years essentially is forever. An eternity. Then The Blessing 3 was released in April of 2023, and that was when The Blessing 2 Dust reached its end of production. So if you're following the timelines correctly, The Blessing 2 Dust has effectively been out of production for about a year now. But of course, with the release of The Blessing 3, everyone then started asking the big question, Crin, where is The Blessing 3 Dust? When Dusk? So because of that, me and Moondrop have started The Blessing 3 Dusk project at the launch of The Blessing 3 which, as you can see, took us about a year. And here we are today with the official launch of the Moondrop X Critical Dusk. And at this point, you all would probably have a lot of questions. So let's just go through them one by one. First of all, with the biggest elephant in the room, why is it called Dusk? Why not Blessing 3 Dusk? Because, you know, there's a clear naming scheme at this point. The simple answer that I can give is that you can't really call the Dusk a Blessing 3 anymore. It's not a simple retune like you would with the Blessing 2 Dusk. Instead, we've kind of uh, shipped of Theseus did in a way. First of all, it's no longer a 4BA2D hybrid like on the Blessing 3. Instead, we have gone with a tribrid configuration. Two DDs, two BAs, and quite interestingly, two planars. More on that later. The shells themselves are also a little bit taller for reasons that, again, I'll explain later. Which, on that topic, when I first revealed it, a lot of people guessed that, oh, it was wood or maybe some kind of Damascus steel. But no. What we have on the new Dusk is essentially CNC'd forged carbon fiber. It's a ridiculously expensive material, but hey, it's strong, it's lightweight, and most importantly, it looks sexy as all hell. But that's really on the aesthetic side of things. What about the changes to the drivers? Why even use the new planar tweeters that we're using right now? First, let's talk about my biggest annoyance with the Blessing series, all the way down to the original Blessing 1. The entire Blessing series, which includes the Blessing 2 Dust, always had this little 6k peak, and that is due to the tweeters that I used in all of them. This is called the Naos SWFK driver, and quite frankly, it is a very, very good driver. There's a reason why it's an industry standard for tweeters. But yes, the issues that I personally had with it was that that 6K added a little bit too much zing, a bit too much spice that, you know, some people appreciated, but me personally, I wish that I could just subdue it altogether. One of our solutions was to use maybe a second order or even a third order high pass on the SWFK, but at that point, it kind of caused more problems than it solved. Then we thought, hmm, why not we just ask Niles for a custom order SWFK without the 6K peak? But then we ran into some issues with that and we just scrapped that idea altogether. Then at some point, the Moondrop development team said, hey, Krin, um, there's this new driver that is kind of floating around the market right now. It's a planar micro tweeter. Would you like to try it out? First of all, yes, the whole planar concept was interesting, but all that was on my mind was please fix the 6K. So I was just, yeah, go ahead. Why not? Try it out. And what do you know? The driver itself had absolutely no bleed under 10,000 hertz. All of its SPL, all of its energy was essentially shifted up into the air frequencies. So when you see the frequency response of the new dust, you realize that compared to the rest of the Blessing lineup, it had absolutely no 6K peak whatsoever. And that is 
completely a design choice. So on that note, we had to make a completely new crossover network, but because of that, we had to make the shell actually a little bit taller because on its original height, it was short circuiting on the faceplate. So yes, a minor structural change there. The Dusk is gonna be slightly taller than the Blessing 3, but because it's on the faceplate, it doesn't really affect the comfort against your ear. Now let's talk about the tuning of the new Dusk, which surprise, surprise, kind of matches up to the old Dusk. On the analog side, we've pretty much taken the old adage of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So on the 3.5 mm cable or any other analog cable, it is tuned pretty much to IEF 2020, which is what the old Dusk was tuned to. The first thing that I feel is different on the new Dusk compared to the old Dusk is that because we use the new planar micro tweeters, the 6K is dampened, but at the same time, we have so much more extension. On top of that, because we're also using the isobaric double DDs that are available on the Blessing 3s, the bass punch is a lot more pronounced and blocked more dynamic, at least in my opinion. So if you're asking me whether I feel like the new dust is an improvement over the old dust, well, I'm biased. We've spent a year trying to live up to the standards of what the Blessing 2 Dusk had set, which is honestly stratospheric. But that is really on the analog side of things. And honestly, if we stopped here, I still think it would have been a benchmark in the $300 price range. But this is 2024 and the standards that the Dusk name has set is so high to the point where we essentially have to break the market in order to just meet expectations. So what do we do here? So on top of the regular analog tuning, we have also provided a DSP cable for an additional layer of small micro adjustment that just makes the dusk much more perfect. So with DSP, we have used the much more new adage of it ain't broke but we can always make it better. With the DSP cable, we have made some minor adjustments to get the frequency response of the new dust closer to that of IEF 2023, which if some of you are not aware, is a curve derived based on the results of the 5128 in the fuse field. It's a relatively minor adjustment, just three bands at 1400 Hz, 5400 Hz, and 14,000 Hz. And here is where I have to emphasize that here we are using DSP not as a crutch, but to just deal with that last 5% of tuning changes that we can't really do in analog. Effectively, we have done as much as we could on analog, around 95% of the way there. But, you know, it's 2024. Why not just use DSP for that last 5%? So that is just the default profile. On top of that, because we are essentially using a free DSP cable, you can also download the Moondrop Link app where you would gain access to four other different profiles, namely, Base Plus, V, Harmon, and Diffuse Tilted. Base Plus is self-explanatory. At this point, I'm expecting people to just ask me for more bass. So here you go, more bass. The V profile also self-explanatory. You gain both bass as well as treble, about three dBs on both sides. The Harmon profile is for those diehards who really want the exact Harmon experience. So there you go. It tunes the dust to be exactly to Harmon 2019 if you want that. And finally, Diffuse Tilted, where we take the 5128's Diffuse Field Profile and down tilt it by about 0.8 decibels per octave. This would be one for the people who think that the Dusk has too much bass, but at the same time want something of a more natural listen. So Diffuse Tilted, approve. Try it out, it's actually pretty nice. So on this topic, let me just rant a little bit because making an EQ profile on the free DSP cable is actually a lot more difficult than you would expect. For those of you who don't know, the free DSP cable is a pretty nifty piece of tech from Moondrop, but as powerful as it is, it is also very limited. For one thing, there is no pre-gain. So whatever that you have tuned into the DSP cable has to be all negative values. If not, you run into clipping issues. What that means, if you wanna do something simple, like, I don't know, boosting the bass, what that means is that you can't just simply boost the bass, but rather you have to kill everything but the base, which would be relatively simple if you just had a shelving EQ. But unfortunately, with the Moondrop Link app, the only access you have is with 
peak filters. So what that means is that your boy right here essentially had to recreate an entire shelving filter with nothing but peak filters. And that is a nightmare. So tuning the free DSP cable with all of these different profiles is actually not that easy. But hey, I've done it. I've done the math. So you don't have to just enjoy the profiles and, you know, adjust them as you see fit. And to answer probably what is your final question? Yes, the dust comes with both the 3.5 single ended cable as well as the DSP USB-C cable. So you have the choice, either one, best of both worlds. And I think that's it. It's been a year. It's been a very, very long year. I know all of you have been asking for the Dusk constantly, and I have been replying soon or next month for the last year or so. But we're done. The Dusk is here. And hopefully at this point, it would have met your expectations, which at this point would be either perfection or it's shit. And for those of you who are in Singapore and would like to try one before you buy, why not come down to The Hangout? We're located at 29B Moss Street, level three in Chinatown. Come on down, grab a cup of coffee as you try Dusk. And if you like it, hey, buy it. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy one, it's fine. And for those of you who don't even want to come down, well, we have a website just for you, hangout.audio. Make your purchase there, we'll deliver it right to your doorstep. And with that said, uh, see you next week and don't die by dusk.